Hello and welcome. I'm Enigmus. That's uh, us coding stuff. All right, so I what am I doing? Man, I got I got some tiles rendered. It's pretty cool. Like a one 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 k of tiles, ten twenty four, ten twenty four tiles, thirty two times thirty two. I think right is our map chunk size. So that is pretty cool. They are all laid out programmatically. So that is good. This right here is the origin of our map, though. Right here in the in the middle. It looks like OBS is recording it. Excellent. So we need to... I don't know about this is an origin. Also notice that we drew it up. Right? This kind of makes it so the first row of our grid here is here. And this is the second row. And I believe that is the inverse of what we want. So uh, we got a little bit of uh, file rendering stuff and things to do. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll see We'll see what else there is that we want to do today after we get that done. All right, let's, uh, let's turn on some uh, Musax and uh, get to code. All right, looking good. So, what are we doing here? All right, so we said, yes, do this thing, let's do the setup. Here's where we programmatically generate the tiles for our map. All right, and then what? We, we add a map. All right, so who takes care? I think that you take care of the meshes. Yes, as part of our process box tiles, I believe that this is a system. Yeah. It uh, takes in all the commands and state and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, let's see. This is the last time I played around with this, I have done a couple of little things. Like, uh, created this Windows subsystem under, you know, in, inside of our main here. To let, uh, so when we compile and build on Windows, Windows knows not to sp spawn a random command prompt. Right? And we can just uh, have the game up and running, and that's it. So that is good. So we know now. So Windows knows what to do with this now. Let's, uh, let's see. Well, what are we going to do? All right. So here is where we figure out the positions of our tiles. Like I said, right now they are being drawn uh, up. And I guess we want them to be drawn down instead. So, how do we do that? We need to think about our X and our Y's here. And what that means for our positions. I believe they're only ever used for positions. Is that correct? Alright, that appears to be correct. So, let's, uh, let's think about it then. So we know that we have, for a given chunk, you know, 32 by 32. Yeah, this is for each chunk in our map. This is what we're, we build a mesh for. All right, and that's what we're, that's what we do. So I think we want something like. So right now it's an even number. I'm wondering if it's always going to be an even number. Because if it's, uh, it's not always going to be an even number, then we need to think harder about it, I think. But, uh, so right now we've got like 32 times 32 tiles. And we want to kind of, we want the center of this chunk to be at its, to be at an origin. I think, right? Yes. The other thing to keep in mind too, though, is that right now we're only right now we're only building one chunk. So we may need to build more than one trunk, more than one chunk. We might need to alter the positions based on the chunks too. We've got some we've got some things to do. Right now we're just going to keep going with the we're, we're only we only care about one chunk. We're gonna render that. That's that seems good. So So right now we kind of start off 
at what? X. I think even if the... I think the chunk size is constant. Yeah. So we don't care too, too much about... Right. So we never have to worry about odd-sized chunks. That's good. Okay. I don't think we ever have to worry about that. Because even if there's an odd size of stuff in there... Hey, Wolfie! How's it going? Uh... Yay! <laughs> So, yeah, so even if there's an odd size of tiles in our map, right, the chunk size is consistent. That's, that's the idea here. That, I think, is what we are going for. Uh, hmm. It seems like we need, like, some sort of a special blank tile. Right? That's what we want. But, uh, yeah, so, right, yeah, right now we see we're going from zero to chunk size for our X and for our Y. I'm thinking that we need to start at a slightly different range. We, yeah, we, we, need, we need a different range going. All right, so let's, uh, let's think about these ranges. I think there's a way to just make a range in Rust, right? So we have this X range. Let's try to let's try to let's try to do that, right? Or right now we could you could just do zero to chunk size. That's for fun. Do that, and then I'm hoping that I should be able to do this X RNG. I'm hoping that that's a thing and that works. No. If you mean to iterate between two values, remove the square brackets. Um. All right. Then let's do that. Yes, I don't know why I put them in square brackets. All right, that looks good. So and then we could say let y range. We're just gonna keep it the same, right? Zero dot dot chunk size. That looks pretty good. So we now we can replace this guy here with our Y RNG. Alright. Now what do we want? Now we want to change where we go from and where we go to. Alright, so we're pretty confident then that chunk size is always... Always even. So this is... It's a U size, huh? So let's go with... Over 2. Over 2. And then here, we can say... Minus... Punk size over 2. And minus... Chunk size over 2. All right, does that compile? Cannot apply an unary unsigned. Oh, because it's... Why is it unsigned? Does it have to be unsigned? I don't know. Let's, uh... That's for fun. Make it a signed... size. Right? That way it's kind of... stainy. All right? Possibly. So. What is this? As I signs. Negative chunk signs. As I signs. Let me find you do the same thing here. Uh, well, how about this? Chunk signs and signs. Alright, let's that that should make it simpler, right? And because yes, now we can come in here and say chunk. Chunk. Yes, this needs to be uh just 
proper rust sort of way of doing it. Signs. All right, cool. Let's do that. We can come in here and we can sit. Um. And then what? Let's let's go with let's call this half size, right? Now we don't have so many divided by two, so I'm half size. can just use negative half signs to positive. Hey Wolfie. Is emoting at me? Yes, negative half size to half signs. Right? Uh, I don't want I just want a range. That's part of the problem there. Alright, we want to do the same thing here, right? Half signs. Do I even need two ranges if that's the case? They're squares, right? Do you mutate arrays as you loop through them? I don't think so. Right, so maybe, we, maybe we should just call this range. Maybe we can just use one range. Range. And then here we can say range. Alright. Now what? As you saw. Does that make sense? No, it does not. I'll tell you why. Oh. Oh. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh my goodness. What am I thinking? All right. No, I think I think it's right. All right. Well, whatever. You know, if the person don't succeed, try try again. Yeah, that's fine. We just, we just need to rethink what we're doing. We definitely want our x and y to be zero through chunk size. So that's going to help us to get the stuff out of our vector correctly. It's the positions that we need changing. So. This here is, yeah, this is, that's about tile position. We don't care about that so much. As now we want... Yes, yes. Alright, let pause x, right? It's equal to x minus... And we want to, again, I think, have some sort of like a little... Let's half size is equal to the chunk size over two, and that's fine. Uh, let's see, because then we can say what x minus uh, half size. All right, good to go. And same thing with let. Pause y equal to y minus half size. Alright, that, that should get us what we want. All we have to do now is plug them in. So I want some of the 32? Sure. F32. F32. Let's come in here. Now yeah, it's F32. As F32. Alright. Pretty good. Now I could just say pause X. Pause X. And pause Y. There we go. Uh, I guess I have to keep it up though. That's fine. Now we have some. Just paste them places. Says plus one. Plus one. Alright, that's good. Plus Y. Plus 
plus 1. Now that we've simplified that, we can simplify this to look like a math equation again. Because that's what it is. It doesn't matter that I'm programming. Math equations should look like math equations. Right. Alright, that looks pretty fantastic. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if that compiles. Looks pretty good. Let's see what we got. Oh, boom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Attempts to subtract with overflow. Hmm. All right, it's fine. That's fine. We can fix that. So we have to just have to say something like, uh, "So x is already basically a u size." Yeah. So we're just gonna make it an i size. It's signed. Yeah, it's it's signed now. Uh, but as i as Right? And here we can say, what, what, is, what is half size here? Are you an eye size? No, but we can fix it. An eye size. As eye size. There we go. Hey, wow. All right, that's pretty good. It's looking kind of how we want. I still think you'll find, though, that what the bottom rows are on the top of the data. So I think we're still we're still flipping things. All right, so we just need to let's come up with some way to test that, and then you know we'll we'll be good to go. All right, so how do we test that? Well, we can't see the very tops and the very bottoms. So that's a thing to consider here as we try to, as we look into it and try to figure out what it is that we are doing. So, let's, uh, yeah, so inside here we did all these sets and everything looked great. Now let's, uh, let's do some more sets. What are you doing, man? I mean, I am weird. This be there, man. Alright, so, what do we do? I think we should do something like chunk right dot set tile. And let's start with a relatively low X. We want something in the middle here though. So we'll say 16. Right? And then we'll say something like four. Alright. So we're gonna set tile that one to tile type. Uh, let's try a. Uh, let's, let's go with a grate. Grates are fun. We'll just have a random grate there in the middle of our map. And hit shift F, shift F10. Whoa, random window placement. See, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, we can barely see it. So let's go ahead and really quickly one more. Uno mas. Heck, we can make it six. Two more. All right. And shift F10. Here we go. Another random location. Yes, well, I want to get into this windowing API and be able to tell it, you know, where to put my windows. All right. Well, that's okay. So yeah, see, see. So we we have it kind of. So if you expected this to be a towards the top, well, it's not, right? Instead, it's toward the bottom. But now we have a cool break. He's just hanging out there. So let's um, right? Because normally, right? Because what we have is we have a grid of stuff, right? And the sixth one from the top at the at uh. You know, 
Row 6. That's showing up here. We expect it to show up here. To be in line with the date. So that the so that our map looks like the date. That's what we want. Alright. So, what are we doing? We're going to go back to our map. Alright. And... We don't want to change how we're arranging through Y. Nope. You don't want to change that at all. So right now, our position for Y... Right? So what if we did... Times negative 1 F... 32. Since now that we know that we're kind of tra traversing our position from like negative half to positive half, we should be able to flip Y by adding this. Alright. Cool. So our, our chunk is now where he belongs. And that is good. Uh, what if we want to... Now we're starting to get to like, okay, great. So we can render one chunk. What if we have more than one chunk? <laughs> yeah, and that sort of a thing. And then how do we optimize our updates? So, you know, we're only, we're only doing so many of these things at a time. And how do we start streaming chunks in? So that, yeah. <laughs> But there's, a, there's quite a lot of work to do here and just in terms of like how to do maps but uh but yeah so cool we flipped it that's all looking good uh i was kind of like the big thing in my mind as to like what to do next but uh yeah i don't know we've got uh we've got stuff to do stuff of things to do i could um I don't know. All right, so let's let's really think about what we've got going here in terms of our uh, in terms of our little mesh. So yeah, so we push our meshes, we add them in. Everything looks beautiful and good. So do these do these chunks have any notion as to where they are in the map? Not right now. Not right now. I don't think so. What kind of crazy thing would happen? If I added a second chunk. Right? This right here is one chunk. Yes. So... We had some sort of like fun make chunk, right? And we could, uh, I don't know, do we want to pass anything into it? No, where did chunk size come from? That was that was a fun little, it's a fun little constant we used, right? Yeah, here we go, thunder map. All right, yeah. So let's make just make some chunks. Right now we're not gonna. We don't need. We don't need any stinking parameters. All right. What is what is your deal, man? Ah, oh. actually nutty. There. Oh yeah. So what are, we, what are we gonna return? I guess we'll return a chunk, right? Yeah. We'll uh, we'll return a chunk. So here we can let mutt chunk. And yeah, we'll copy that over. There we go. And that's right here even has our little break. And then uh what? Then we can return chunk. Alright. Because if you've got a nice little endpoint like this, you might as well type out the full return. Make it look nice and pretty. Alright. Cool. 
So we've got, so we, we're setting tiles. We got our X and our Y's and stuff. All right, and so, so we could change, we could have like a great position, right? So we could have like great X. Uh, what, what do you want? What do we, what do we want? We want like a, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know why we need more than that. All right, let's see here. And great. What is this? Y? And make him a UA. Doesn't matter if he's a. You might want to look at some of these types that we're passing in and why we made them so big. All right, yeah, great X and great Y. All right, so now we've got, we can make chunks and it builds a perimeter fence and we can specify, what is this? What do you, what do you want? You want U size? Does that make you happy? What? I expected a U size, yeah, I know. All right, so as U size, all right. Cool, so we got some of that gone, and that is looking good. What else do we, what else do we need? Anything? Well, we can make chunk. Yeah, so we should probably use it. Alright. Alright, alright. So let's just, uh... And then we can... Yeah, we can even use it right in here where we're just like, what? Make chunk. And then what? 16 by 6. Alright. And we don't need that so much. Alright, so we have maps. We're going to add to our map. Map width one. Ah, for the moment, yes. Map width two. This this will make them horizontal, supposedly, right? So if we get that correctly, we can see them. Yeah, you know, if we get it correct, we won't get it correct right away, and that's fine. So let's go ahead then and yeah, make that nice and curvy. So here we go, and now we can make chunks. Uh, for 16, what is this? 32 minus 6. There we go. So imagine this will all compile. Good. And I guess one of them wins out. The first one. There are theoretically two map chunks, though. The question is, where do we draw our map chunks? Another question is... Alright, so we know we have a map with two. We know we've got some other stuff going on. I think that creating the meshes the way we do, this is correct. Right? It seems correct-ish to me. So where are we messing up at? Here, maybe. Here is where we transform, right, our, our chunks. So he's got a handle to the map. Do we use it? A little bit. Uh, let mesh list new meshes get mute from the map handle. Alright. Let's see. New meshes get mute map handle. Alright. So we have to think about how some of that stuff works. So what does a what does a map handle get us? So 
Just want to know if we can tell. Yo, uh, map handle. So I've got a handle ID. I think that what you do is if you have a map handle, right, then you should be able to use maps. Get. Let's change map. Is this map handle? Yes. So that's a reference map handle. Alright. Or handle map. Alright. So that is what we want. And you are... Are you a reference? Yes, you are. Alright, cool. So now I can say stuff like... Uh, let map equal to map dot get with my map handle. Alright. I have a map. So then it'd be good to know the width, I think, of the map, which is why we got it. Right? Is that, is that all we really want out of it? Um, yes, I think that's all we want out of it. Alright, so we can say map width dot T. This new meshes. Alright. Width? What are you doing to me? Yeah, map width. There we go. Because I assume that get there has some sort of option. Yep. All right. We're just going to assume that that works. Nixiediv. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah. Long time no stream. <laughs> but uh, you know, playing around with hardware, moving machines around, stuff like that. You know, you know how it is. Uh, I got Final Fantasy fourteen online, working on my Linux box. That was a uh, that was funny. This is, uh, yeah, I got a new monitor, got a new keyboard. Hopefully this one's a little software, a little softer typing. Doing good, working on my file format for file sharing servers, Nixitive says. All right, excellent. That does sound fun. Yeah, over at the uh, day job, I was playing around with writing a little microservice in Rust. And uh, that, that went really well. About 120 lines of code or so. I've got, um... You know, some J you know, little little JSON web service. Yeah, you know, the idea of it's to be uh you know, a service that other services call. Uh so they so they don't all have to like talk to the database. <laughs> Just one thing can talk to the talk to the database. For one thing. And then uh yeah. The other services don't have to pollute their code with uh, trying to figure out how to talk to Postgres. All right. But yeah, so I got some map widths going. What am I doing? Yeah, figured out our map width. So now that we figure out our map width, it's like, yeah, we want similar sort of logic to how we determine chunks already, I think, right? Because we should already have at the top of here some of our chunk code. Yeah, where we can uh, we get a tile based on based on this sort of a thing. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna copy it over. We're gonna think about it a moment because I think that we're trying to do the inverse. Yes, we already this this right here gets us the index for x and y. Uh, now we're trying to go the opposite way. Satan, no, hello, how's it going? Yeah. Just seeing all these viewers show up. It's pretty fun. Let's see, let's uh let's come out some of these latest changes and hit hit run to see what happens. Alright, but yeah, so I've uh you know we've got some tiles rendering. You know, and uh they're not even upside down anymore. 
Oh wait, or are they upside down? No, this is the second chunk, and it's running over top of the first chunk. So right now I'm trying to put them side by side. That's what we're doing. <laughs> so, but yeah, so yeah. So the origin is here, right in the middle, where it should be. Yeah, we've got a... <laughs> ah, there we go. That's, that's something to look at. Alright. That gets us toward the top there. Boom. So, yeah. So we're going to try to make it now so these net parts are side by side. Doing well. Doing well. You know, hanging in there. Figuring stuff out. Got some things going at work. So that's pretty good. A little Rust web service I wrote. A little micro service. So, that is good. Alright, so, right, so this right here, yeah, we're keeping that common to that, because again, we're trying to do the inverse, basically. Which is about... what? So... So, for a given sort of... X, right? I think we want, uh, X isn't good, right? So, for a given index, probably over... Over map width is what I'm thinking. Right? And then what? Plus... I think we want index... Mod. Map width. So we want to keep this as an integer sort of division, so no remainder sort of a thing. And I think that will get us the X, the X and Y. No, one of these is the X, one of these is the Y. That's what that is. It's not really a plus. What am I thinking about? So yeah, so I think we want, uh, what? Let X equals... No. Let Y is equal to that. Let X is equal to that. All right. So, then as long as we have the index, we should be good to go. Alright, so how do I auto-increment something here? Let's see, let's just, uh, what, let index is equal to zero, and it's going to be mutable. So, that is good. Alright, yeah. Let's hang it out and get some potent dead. Are Y even long? Why even what? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's say limp. Yeah, I think we just, for now, we can just copy paste this stuff here. Why is the origin in the center? For funds. Yeah, because either that or it's going to be one of the corners, right? And I want the, uh, I think I want the origin in the center. Uh, pop it down there. It's good to go. I guess the sort of thing that we want. Right? You have to, you, have to, you know, because if, before I didn't really choose where the origin was. And it was a corner. And it seemed like it made it harder to reason about where the chunk was in space. But, you know, this way it's sort of like, you know, hey, I want, I want my map at zero, zero. Okay, and where's its chunk? The, the one chunk that it has. Oh, it's at zero, zero. Okay, draw a map. Boom, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. And then, uh, where do I position the next chunk? Let's figure, that's that's what we're here to figure out, right? Now, cool. So we figured out some sort of X and Y based on the index of what we're doing here. And I think what we may want to do then is... Hmm. But then I don't need to account for that with my index. Well, I'm centering the map now. Right? So, because right now I have two chunks drawing on top of one another. Right? So I need to space the map. So in order to space out the chunk properly, I need to know what, you know, what it's what the chunk's position is. Right now, I only have the chunk's index. So so this way, I get my you know 
figured out doing this sort of stuff here. Let's double check these to make sure I don't get some float back. Uh, that's a U8. That's a U8. 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 Alright, cool. So yeah, so expect uh, some U8s up in here. Just make that super clear that we're doing some integer sort of division and mod, mod here. Good to go. See, so for instance, let's just go with a naive sort of thing, right? Where I'm not going to center the map at all. Instead, I think what we're going to do is, let's see, transform clone. Why are we, why are we cloning a transform? Hmm. All right, so I think I need to, so cloning it may be a good first start, right? But then what? And then I need to translate what? Um... What is this? Chunk size times x, right? And then uh, chunk size times y, and then uh, zero. I think is what we're looking. Oh, it wanted a vector, so I actually have to say vec vec three. What new? There we go. Let's give it a brand new vector. And we're going to hope that that makes it happy. I think that these need to be as F32s. As F32s. What's, what's the malfunction now? I expected transform, but I found something that was not that. Translate doesn't return a transform? It does not return a transform. Alright, I was expecting translate... To return a transform. Let's double check that there's like, you know, with. Yeah, with translation. There we go. So I'll just copy paste that in there and fix it up. Alright. So yeah, get rid of all that. And then maybe one of those. There we go. See how I interpreted it was that if you wanted to get the x, y of an index, you would need to subtract that. Hmm. I don't know about that. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, keep, let's keep going, see what happens. And, uh... Doop, doop, ba -doop. Oh! Alright, couple warnings. This operator can only be the result of a result or an option. I thought, I was pretty sure it was clearly the result of an option. But like, you know what, whatever, and we're just gonna use unwrap. I'm not gonna care. I'll multiply. Alright, so this is mad. Because why? Oh, because... Okay, that's fine. Just... I don't know, man. As... What is this, U-size? I don't know, man. So that's... We'll play around with that. I'm pretty sure chunk size could probably... Why did I make this hard on myself? What did I do? Why, why do I have all these eye sizes everywhere? I think I was trying to avoid a bunch of casts somewhere else, only just to encounter them now. Right? So like... And what is this? U size? Sure, let me cast it all back down to F32s. Who cares? Alright. Well, we know the size of chunk socks. So maybe... Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, that's that. Alright, cool. Got that going. Oh my goodness, are you serious right now? What is going on here? Okay, you're not an F32. Like, what are you complaining about exactly? Because the things you're complaining about, I don't think has happened. All right. Let move index. Index isn't being upgraded. No. 
Index is equal to index. Plus one. I don't know if they've been shorter. I'm not sure if Russ is one of those languages that doesn't have plus plus. Does it not have plus plus? Plus plus. No? Plus equals one. Alright, cool. Remove these parentheses. Sure, why not? Alright, looks good. Alright. Alright, so that looks happy. Oh. Yes. So now we have two chunks being rendered side by side just as they should. Excellent. So then I think I want to, to center the map as a whole. And then uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe when you find the origin of the map, wherever that is. It kind of depends on how the maps go. But yeah, we've got we've got chunks rendered side by side, and that is good. So another fun thing to test, though it might be harder to see. Hmm. Yeah, just just rendered my chunks. <laughs> Woo! Side by side. There we go. I've got two of them. One, one's up, one's down. And I think this is, yeah, this is chunk zero, this is chunk one. The map has a width of two. Now, if I made it a width of one, then it should put them, you know, this one below this one. But it'll be kind of hard to tell the way we have our camera set up. But for fun, let's go ahead and test it. All right, so seeing that one. Huh? Huh? Oh, it might be above it. it. Might be above it, which isn't what we want. All right, that was a good test because at least then I was like, oh yeah, I should, I need, I need to draw the X ones down. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, I don't know. Ah. I'll, I'll just negate this one. It's fine. Alright. There we go. Can't play. That's right, because it's uh... a. <laughs> uh, F32s are signed, right? So. Yeah. Um, there we go. Times negative one dot. There we go. Just throw it out there. Good to go. Oh, man. I need to stop this window from popping up in random places. Oh, oh there we go. Now we can see it. All right. That's looking pretty good. Now, considering that, like, you know, with this sort of a map, we could see bottom, but we couldn't see top, please be to believe that our map is off center slightly. Or th the chunk is, for some reason. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's because the tiles themselves aren't centered either, right? So. So it's going to push it up, everything up by one tile. So if we wanted it to be perfectly centered, we'd have to center all of the time. But uh, I'm not terribly concerned about that at the moment. It's fine. As long as we know what's going on and why it is the way it is, right? Cool. So yeah, we can we can render chunks. We got a, we got a couple map chunks going. What else do we have going? So, uh, yeah, let's go back to our main and make them side by side again, since that was uh, more fun to look at. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So... What do we have? Right now we're kind of drawing our 
tiles again. Right? With the assumption... Like, you know, we're, we're just gonna go... We're going... Okay, we're going to the right and down. Which is what we want. But if we change the origin of our map to say, like, being here-ish. You know, or in the other case, here. Yeah, then, then we'll have a centered map. How much does it matter that our map is centered? I don't know. Well, if we know that just about everything is centered, then everything will, of course, then everything will work well together, right? Right. I think that's how that works. Yeah, if, if you draw everything centered, then everything will fit and match and work well. I think that's what we're going to do. Alright. Cool. So... Right, we're back in that. That's the main. What did we do in main? We didn't like translate it or anything, did we? No, no, no. Just playing around with the far sort of thing. Why are we doing far minus dot one? That didn't even make any sense. I think we just put it. I'm not even sure that's what we want. Let me double check our camera real quick to be like, yo dude, what's up with my camera? Projection, this guy here. What is near? Now you got a default. There we go. Near is zero. Bar is 1,000. All right. Ah, so yes, yeah, so that would that should theoretically then put the map. No. Where am I at? This is the wrong place. I don't need to be here. Need to be here. R minus point one. This is so our map then should be the farthest away we can get. Right? What happens if we don't do this? <laughs> Will we still see it? Yeah, looks good. What if I did fire plus one? No, forgot to add the thing to make it happy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it still shows up. Been working properly. Let's see. I mean, all I did was set up the projection, right? Yeah, that's the okay. So that's the default. He just comes in here. Boop boop boop. Far is one thousand, right? So there's far. This is just about setting up that orthographic projection here. Here's far. All right. You got near minus far. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. So, great. Right. 2000. Yeah. Well, the engine I'm using, I guess, doesn't seem to really uh, care much for the... <laughs> for how far away stuff is at the moment. Like, uh, if, so, and if I made it zero... What happens then? Alright. Yep, still looks good. Oh well. Let's just uh let's just make it fire then. Oh, I'm on the impression that here we're translating the camera. Alright. What if I did what if I did negative one? All right, now it's just like making me think I didn't actually use the translation I'm giving it, which may be possible. 
let's just, uh, yeah, we keep it like that for now. No, but it, it must be using the translation we're giving it. Because if I send negative 16 here for fun, negative 32, center of the map, probably. Alright, and when I said run, I don't think it did it. I could have sworn I got this translations working. Did what I just do break it? When I said clone this transform, and then I said with translation. This should translate from the, yeah, set translation and return self. So that did what I thought it did. Um. Yeah. I didn't. I think this with translation is overriding the previous one. Uh huh. Transform dot. What is this? Translation dot. Z. Yeah, I think I was overriding it. I didn't want to override it. I wanted to, like, I don't know, add to it. Yeah, this sets the translation. All right. Well, I think that's slightly different than what I, what I wanted. Yeah. Um, let's see if there's a better verb we can use. Hmm. I like the ones that return self. Ah, maybe it's with translate. Alright, here we go. Ah, yeah, stop and rerun. Aha! I have broken it! Excellent. Alright, so... How did we break it? Because we moved it too far? Is it because of this? Let's double check before we just assume that the far thing didn't work properly. Alright. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's make that a zero. Alright, still getting a black screen. Excellent. It's part of the fun. So now, what? If I just said, if I said zero dot, right? All right, now we see it again. Great. So now what if we said far minus one dot? No, we don't see it. All right. Think about it. Which way is up? I thought like increasing values were up. The 100. All right, we see it. One thousand. Don't see it. All right. Huh. What was far again? Where's 1,000, man? I, uh, I have tried the game Genshin Impact once, yes. I was trying it out on my PS4, I was hooking it up to my computer and viewing the PS4 through my OBS. Uh, so that was, that was fun. <laughs> you know? Uh, it was, uh, probably a little laggy that way, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to watch it from my uh, PS4 through my OBS from my computer. Uh, that was on another s computer system though. This one has a much more up to date video card, so I don't know. 
Maybe, uh, maybe this we could do better. But, um, yeah, you know, just having a little bit of fun with it. Um, I know other people who are having fun with it. Uh, because I don't have a, because if I want to record it via OBS, then I don't, I don't have any other screens to monitor the output from. <laughs> and, uh, I haven't looked too, too much into, like, okay, well, how do I stream directly from PS4, right, to Twitch? Maybe there's a way to do it. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. But, you know, I've already got my alerts and everything, my camera, everything's set up here, so... Yeah, it seemed like a fun way to do it. It mostly worked. I was doing pretty well. But uh, it seemed like there were some features lacking from the PS4 release. Have you tried it out much? Oh, I don't need that anymore. Right, that's the problem. That's the problem. Alright. Yes, alright. Good. Alright. Oh, jeez. I need a sanity check there. Alright. <laughs> so if I say 999, do we see it? Yes! Alright. What about 1000? One thousand. Do we see it? No, we do not. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's the furthest away. Yeah, you know, without getting into like, you know, nine nine dot nine 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 nine. And who knows how many nines we could go? But yes. All right. So now our map is the furthest away that it should be. And if I translate it by like negative. Uh, 32. We should see it pop up here. Yeah, okay, so now now it's just on the opposite side showing up. Cool. Now if I did a negative 16. Yeah, yeah, don't ask that. Just stop and rerun, man. Yeah, there we go. Kind of close to being centered, but again, because the tiles aren't centered, it's not yet completely centered, but that's fine. Well, there we go. Look at that. We got our we got a great down there. We got a great up here. We got a great wall going. All right, sweet. So yes, yeah, Nixie has been playing uh, Genshin Impact for the past couple days. Sadly, I have to use my external software to remap my keyboard. Ah, because the game doesn't support it. Huh. That is that is weird. Yeah, I'm under the impression that Genshin Impact doesn't work on Linux. So you know, I've got a in order for me to play it, I have to have a Windows setup, which I do, just not this, not this computer. That computer's downstairs. The idea being that if I was going to play Genshin Impact, I'd probably want to play it with the wifey, since she's playing it. And so I might as well have the dual boot computer downstairs where I can hang out with her, as opposed to up here in my studio. So that's kind of the idea. But yeah, look at that. So, uh, so we centered it that way. So that is cool. That is cool. But yes, I think we want now for our map, like, we need to center this based on how many there are, right? Right, so we know what chunk size is. Yes. Let's see, Windows KVM, GPU pass-through. Ah. KVM, what do you mean by KVM? I don't, I, I, should, I feel like I really ought to know what that is. 
Oh, KVM switch. Yeah. That's why I, yeah, yeah. GPU pass, pass through. How does that work? Alright. GPU pass through. Do do ba do 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 ba do. Alright. Yeah, what was I doing? Let's go to uh Yeah, we can look at this guy. Like uh Oh the kernel virtual machine. Ah yeah. I vaguely recall like I I've seen that people could do it. And I've, uh, there were some complicated instructions, basically, for getting, like, native-esque performance for games from a, uh, virtual machine. And yeah, I do recall it involving a lot of the kernel and stuff. I, um, I didn't get it working when I looked into it. I don't think I had the required hardware or something for it. Like, maybe people got it working with AMD but not NVIDIA yet. But now I've, I've got two systems now. I've got, I've got AMD and I've got NVIDIA. So whichever one it works for, I'm, I'm set. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, that could be uh, that could be fun to look into. Getting a kernel virtual machine going. Man, but where do you even get Windows 10 ISOs these days? I wanted to go download one for uh, my setup I was doing, and it was like... It seemed like they wanted me to pay to download the ISO. Let's see, I have both NVIDIA and AMD in my only system. Ah! Yeah, I was, uh, I was wondering about that sort of thing. It seemed like a fun idea. This computer has an RX, um... I don't know. Something in it. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I do a... Am I, on this, am I on my own computer? Looks like it. So, uh, what? DLX. This thing told me. Yeah, R Radeon RX 5700 XT. Alright, that's what I got. Uh, old USB with Windows 10 on it. Yeah. That's cool. And you can find me one of those. <laughs> Try to have some lying around somewhere. All right. All right, so we've got these maps. We know what the chunk size is. All right, so it's, yeah, it's 32. When we know what the map width is, therefore we can determine the map height, right, by, um, what, asking him how many chunks it has? Yeah. Ah, yeah, R R RX5600 for your Linux host, or a Radeon 7 for my Mac OS VM. Yeah, 2080 for the Windows VM. <laughs> oh, that's, that's crazy, man. A Mac OS VM? I didn't think Mac, I didn't think Mac liked it when uh, <laughs> they did stuff like that with their, with their operating system. Alright. Maybe that was a while ago. Maybe they've changed their minds on, on how that stuff works. Unless you got like a Mac Pro or something you're throwing all this stuff into. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's see. Let's uh yeah, so we've got we've got our map width. We've got our map width. So we have a mesh list. Uh what, Lin? Oh don't mess with me. Yeah, I know you got a length function. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool though, man. Whatever gets stuff working, right? <laughs> All right. So yeah, so we've got a, so we got the whole length. We want to go over our map width, and so we're going to assume that this is a square grid. 
though, if, if something happened that was like... Wait, is that what we want to assume? Yes? No? Because right now we don't have a square grid. Right. We're going to assume that... You know, the total number of chunks is evenly divisible by map widths, though. That still seems like a reasonable assumption to make. So, there we go. Lin, yeah, it's a U size. U8. It apparently doesn't care. Uh, let's see here. What do you want this to be? Maybe like a U8. I don't care. What? What is your problem? I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Do not care. Alright, cool. So, what's the point of this? Well, we basically want to do the same exact thing that we just did, right? And what did we just do? We had a position X and a position Y. Ah, uh, well, where would we set those? Here we go. Alright. We have a map width and a map height. So if we have a map width and a map height, then we want for... This is the wrong place in the for loop, I think? Yeah. We want to come in here. Alright. Let's come in here. Position X, position Y. So we know our X and our Y positions. Alright. So, we should have, I think we're, more, are we more interested? Half width and half height? Go with half width. Uh, they are getting to, okay, well, no, I'm just, they are getting telemetry about a 12 credit. Uh, 12 threaded core 2 duo with 24 gig of RAM and a Radeon 7. Ah! That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I think I also... No, I have the, uh, I have the 24 threaded 12 core. Um, what? What do I have? The Radeon new thing. Yeah, Sin 2. Sin 2 new thing. I don't know, I guess Sin 3 is out now, so now, now I guess it's not the new thing. Whatever. Yeah, you know, it took a moment for Linux to even work properly with the hardware that I have, so I don't I don't mind waiting a moment to upgrade again. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Um Alright, map width over two. This one can be yeah, this one is we wanna make this like an F32. Be fine with that then. All right, so let's. I don't know. What am I doing? Yeah, because I don't think we need the full height ever. I think we only ever need the half. I'm sure. Yeah, we want that to be an F32. Let's just do some of that. Yeah, map width over 32. And we have all of this, and we can say over two. Alright, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So. Now we don't have to do too, too many of these uh, divisions. Just once per map, I guess. And that's fine. If you use the uh, 3960X, hopefully the uh, new Threadrippers are going to have some more lanes. Yeah. 64 PCIe lanes is pushing it at work. Wow. I'm going to do some serious stuff. That's right, aren't you the guy who's doing like the. Uh, VR with Rust thing? Man.
Yeah, working on network stacks can be integrated in the engine. Wow. Yeah, you were working on some hardcore, serious, awesome stuff, man. It's, uh, yeah. My do well, yeah. I just wrote like a little web service today. I was pretty happy at work. <laughs> Let's see. Is that, is that what we want? Do we need to like add X slices? What is this? What is half width? Or an F32. That's what I thought. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to cast this guy here. Nope. Let's see, dude. I'm sure all of this is breaking. Alright. So no implementation for yet. Yeah, see. Alright. And that's map width over here, right? No, that's the sky. Ah, uh, all right, sure. As F three two. All right. Map width. Yeah, it's here again. All right. Now the map. As an F32. Just F32, all of the things! <sighs> Alright, um. F32. This is very particular about numbers and types. I'm gonna have to clean up a lot of this later. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, it's not used, it's not used. Alright, good to go. Alright, sweet. So, right, so we subtracted it by half width, subtracted it by half height. Uh, the height is, so the width is based on the map width variable that we picked up from our map. The height is based on, you know, um, what is the total number of entries divided by the map width. Uh, which looks good, and then what? And then we half it. Good, alright. So then... Alright. So this guy, this is... Uh, okay, he's not in a loop or anything. So we can actually start, as opposed to doing all this math in here, right? We can just... And what? And what else do we have in here? Keep referencing chunk size, chunk size. What's half? Alright, I probably need to simplify this code a lot. <laughs> Go through it and just like tear it apart and put it back together again, but whatever. Uh, the only thing I'm really trying to do right now is prove that stuff kind of works. And... Well, I'll clean it up. That's fine. So yeah, so I think we want to... Yeah, chunk size times that stuff, right? It's, um... Yeah. Chunk size times... And for this guy... I see that this here is how that works. Alright, let's see, I already got that. And then here, I should be able to just say of x and of y. Pretty sweet. Alright, this here is all part of that. Yeah, we'll leave him off when I was online. He's off doing his own thing, it's fine, don't worry about it. Alright, so now we got some U-size BS again. Alright, so as F32. Let's do. Shift. 
Washington. All right. We got something different here. Uh. Oh, I know why. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. No. No. All right. Let's think about some more. X seems like it's wrong. Hmm. But what did we say about that? Hmm. Ow. Ow. Um, hmm. Alright. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I know what the deal is. I think I know what the deal is. Let's, uh... Hmm. Oh, I'm multiplying chunk size by this whole thing. At least these feel equal signs. 
Yeah, this, that looks correct. It's just not positioned where I want. something something wrong this here is like the index of the chunks which we did something samey here yeah here we did something kind of samey yeah so we're just gonna comment these guys out for now as we rethink about what it was that we had done here I know that half size is 32. Alright. Half width here should be 1. Half height should be 0.5. Um, yeah, but what are we getting? It's up too high. Right? And it's too far over the left. I think feel more accurate for this to be a quarter. Sense. It pushed up a lot. Why is it pushed up? I'm not thinking about something correct. Right. I got those positions. These X's and Y's, were they already... No. no. That's what we're doing here. That's half wit. Something. So where do I want where do I want zero to be? I want zero to be at so I, want, I want chunk, right? So we want we want chunk zero, right? To be at zero no negative sixteen. And then we want uh, chunk zero, and we want uh, chunk one to be at 16. Alright. Right. Because our...
What is our half width? 32. No, wait, our half width is what? Two. Alright, two over two is one. One. X minus one makes sense. Two. It puts us right back here. This isn't what I want. here should be zero, right? Because our index is zero. So zero over anything is zero. So I should be at zero. And then why are we subtracting that? Half height should be 0.5. Right? Right. So 0 0.5. This might be one of those cases where I'm having a hard time thinking and streaming at the same time. <laughs> it is, uh, it shouldn't be this free and hard. Why can't I, like, what, what am I, what am I missing here? I ain't no dummy. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's just, let's just start over. I don't, I don't even know. All right. Just, I don't even know right now. All right, so. Zero to zero. We're done. Alright, cool. Let's just start up. Think about what it is that we want. Alright, so we want so we're gonna draw from top to bottom, left to right. Right, so as we come along here. Yeah, it's just so we've got them. X is our mod. Width that is over width. Index when it first comes in is zero, right? But what's what's our deal? We want, yeah, we gotta figure it out. All right, so we have y then y times chunk size. All right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be mad. It's gonna be mad at y times chunk size because casting stuff. All right, well, as an F32, right, and as an F32, okay. All right, so that's like, it's kind of the first thing we can get going there, right? Right, so what, so our height right now is what? Our half height is 0.5, and I think that's maybe what's throwing us off. Maybe, maybe that's what's throwing us off. Why are we looking at half heights? Why are we looking at half heights? I don't know. So, so that right there, that looks pretty. 
And then from here, we can say what? What? X as F32 times chunk size as F32. Now let's put this in the corner again, right? So that our map is in the corner. Alright, well Y seems correct. But that's only because there aren't enough chunks to make it wrong, right? <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't enough chunks yet to make it wrong. Alright. So... And X is X is wrong too because why we want we want 16 to the left and we haven't gone 16 to the left yet. Why not? Right now X is X is zero and then one. And that's just what we want. Yes. Right. Right. And then what? So then we can say Do I have like a half chunk? Chunk size over two dot. That's an F thirty two over two dot. Alright. We also want to multiply this by negative one. Make sure that we're drawing our map correctly. All right. Hey. All right. Nice check size. But what if our map was back to being one? Right. What if we? What if we said one and? Correct in the X now, but it's not really correct. Right, here we go. That looks correct. I go back into main. And I make it so there's now only one chunk. It is wrong.
not be hard. I, why can't I think of what I need to do? I don't know. That's, uh, yeah. So, half width. No. 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 I just got this working. Next. That's it. The only difference should be that I have a multiplier. Like, the multiplier should be applied across all of it. Okay. minus half width. One. Should be negative one.
doesn't seem right. Not right. Sounds like we're gonna half of that one. Not good. Not what we want. We can do this, we can do this, all right. Don't need these parentheses anymore. Nope. I think I've got it. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe. Half width. Half height. Times. Pump size. Times. Pump size.
length of the map. Which in our case is two. Over map width. Two. I don't believe you now. Well, first off, let's just say plus half. But this one, we make sure that, like, no, really, that's what we want. Oh, I'm starting to get upset. Shouldn't be this hard to center stuff. What on earth am I overthinking? What on earth am I overthinking?
Alright, chunk size. Alright, let's... X minus... Half width. As an F32. Chunk size times y minus half height as f32 times negative one dot. That's fun. Part of the fun. What? Attempts to subtract with overflow. Five. Two. looking good. This one not so much. Are we off by 16? Yeah, it's off by 16. Size of these things are multiple. So we're looking at food time. I still haven't bought. I still haven't been able to remember basic arithmetic yet. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh man. This is uh. Ugh. See some geometries. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Not work. No. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I have sixteen. So we know that half width here should be one. Yes. 
I don't get it. All right, so this figure says we're, we're multiplying both in both sides of this equation by chunk size. So it should be chunk size times x, which is how much? Uh, for index zero, right? It should be zero. So, zero minus half width. Half width here is one. Why is it one? Because map width, map width is two. Map width over two, right, is one. Just one. So the over twos like that with times point fives. All right, all right, all right. Oof! All right. I think that that could be some. I'll have to I'll have to take a look. All right. Yes. It's good. Yeah. So we're gonna wanna. Yeah, we're gonna clean this code up a lot. Oh my goodness, so much. I could not remember some basic basic arithmetic, I think. That's that's what happened to me today. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that seems to be that seems to be doing something. Alright, now to test it. We're gonna go back and make it one. And then we can hit run again. And what do we get? Ah, oh, centered. Look at that. That's nice. All right, look at all that centering we got going. Finally. Oh my goodness. I remembered some arithmetic, and I made it happen. Wait. There. Can we try out the height version. Yes. That's precisely what I wanted to see. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's too hard. Oh my goodness. All right, but that might means that some uh, of our other centering code is slightly off, but that's okay. We can uh, we come back to that. We can fix that up later. Oh, so much code cleanup to do. So many things to make happen. Wow. All right, but look at that. All right, we have we have kind of a centered map. Yeah. All right, kind of a centered map. Look at that. All right, sweet. We did it. Congratulations to us! Everything is super cool. Everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Just gotta clean some stuff up, make my code less terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness, can't believe how badly I was failing at basic arithmetic. Alright, so I'm Lingus. I've been trying to code with you guys today. Uh, we finally got what we wanted a centered map with two chunks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them two chunks. Look at how chunky they are. All right. So there's a, there's a little bit of stuff we can do to improve the centering even a little more. But, you know, that's that's fine. We got to we're going to take some stuff into account. We're going to make some things happen and it is uh it's good to go. All right. I will see you guys next time. Uh Have fun. <laughs>